Hello. So today we're gonna to be making some delicious custard tarts using these three off buns. Um, wait for a few more people to come in. And if, you, if you're just waking up, then this is the perfect breakfast to have. I haven't had breakfast yet. So this is going to be my breakfast, right? Cause, like, cause I'm really hungry. Um, so really, really simple. You literally need about five ingredients. You need your Saint Pierre brioche buns, of course. Some yogurt, I've got eggs, maple syrup, and that's literally it. That's it, that's all you need. It's so simple. So first things what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our brioche buns. Seal tight for freshness, of course. And these obviously I would usually use for but I would usually use these for burgers, but they work great for anything sweet or savory. You can even make like French toast with them. There's loads of things you can do do with them as if you would normal brioche buns. So once you've got your buns like this, it's really similar to that custard toast trend. You're gonna push in the middle like that. And this is what you're gonna fill with your delicious custard. So if you push that in. like that, you'll make like a little indent in here and it's like a little cup. And then you can fill it with, you can fill it with your custard filling and then bake it and it'll be ready in no time. It's also really great if you wanna make a quick breakfast that looks really, really pretty. Or if you're having like a tea party, um, I don't know if people still do this anymore, but maybe, maybe you should have a tea party just so you can make these delicious little tarts and they look like you spent hours making them, but really it took about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do four, because I'm hungry, but however many you want. You can use, also use a spoon if you wanna fill them in as well. Uh, there we go. So once these are all nicely pressed in, we're gonna make our custard filling. So our custard filling is really, really simple. We, I've got my jug here. It's easy to do it in a jug because that way when you pour it in, you're not gonna be spilling it out everywhere. And you just need, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand because if I put this down, you'll be able to see it. So you need, for one egg, you need about three tablespoons of yogurt. Any yogurt will do. I've done this with vegan yogurt. I've done this with coconut yogurt. I've done with this Greek yogurt. With, I made this so many times. And I've tried every single yogurt out there, so you're not gonna have any problems. We're literally whatever yogurt you've got in your house. And then we're cracking an egg. Some maple syrup. Again, you can use any sweetener you've got. I think maple syrup dissolves quite easily, so that's a good one to have. And you can also add in some vanilla here. You can add any other cinnamon or any other flavorings you want and then just whisk this together. Passion fruit yogurt will work. Um, if you have any questions about how to make this, then feel free to ask. I'll see what I can view and answer to. And then when it's nice and smooth, like that, and also try it now as well, because you might want a bit sweeter. You might not want it as sweet. So depending on how sweet you want it, I'm gonna check that now. I like it very, very sweet. So I've put quite a lot of <laughs> syrup in. And then you're gonna pour it into your buns. So let me take some of this stuff out here. Move this down. So you can see these little indented ones. Let's start with this one. And you just pour it in, just like that, to the top. Just gonna press in a bit more. You wanna be careful when you're doing this, you don't wanna get like any holes in it because obviously then your custard will fill out, spill out and then it won't work. So this much filling is probably enough for about four tarts. Okay, and the last one, I haven't pressed this one properly, so I can show you here. There you go. You can press really, really firmly. These brioche buns are quite sturdy, 
So you're unlikely to make a hole unless you like poke it like that. There you go. It's also such a nice way to start like your weekend morning. Okay. So all my brioche buns are filled up. This is done. I don't know if any of you are cooking along. They don't get soggy because we're baking them. We're putting them in the oven. So your oven should be preheated to 180. And then these take, oh, how long do they take? They take, I think they took me 10 minutes um, when I put them in the oven. Sometimes it takes a bit more depending on how fast and how slow your oven runs. Usually about 10 minutes, but check on them and I'll show you when they're done. But whilst they're in the oven, you can make some other stuff, um, which I'll show you in a minute. So these are gonna go in the oven now. Sorry. So I've just put them all in the oven and they're going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. I would check on them. Um, you want the insides to be set and like slightly jiggly. Um, and when you're cutting into them, make sure that they're cooled down because if they're not, then they'll just spill out everywhere, um, even though it is cooked. And you want me eating raw eggs. So there's that. The next thing we're going to do is just going to prepare our fruits. So I've got a nice selection of fruits here. I've got some strawberries. Ooh, let me get them. I've got some strawberries raspberries, blueberries. You can even bake them inside if you want them a little bit like jammy, but I think they look really pretty on top because they're gonna be more like tart-like. And for glazing on the top, you're gonna to get a jam. Any jam that you've got, I've got a strawberry jam here. It's already in a little jar. And that's what we're gonna to use to brush over the top. This is what they actually do in like patisseries and stuff. They would use apricot jam, but I don't want you to go out and buy a specific jam. Literally any jam will work. Mine are at 180. So make sure ovens are preheated to 180 and then you can cook them for about 10, 15 minutes. Sorry, 10 to 12 minutes. You can use, yes. So questions, you can use vegan custard. You can use coconut custard. I've used coconut custard. I've used soya custard, soya custard. Um, I've used Greek yogurt and not, sorry, the whole custard can't be vegan, that was my fault, but the yogurt can be vegan because the brioche buns are not vegan because they've got lots of butter to enrich them. But if you're looking to be slightly vegan or try to reduce your dairy intake, then um, coconut yogurt and soya yogurt work just as well. Well, if you want to be part of the team, there are loads of applications in our jobs in the website, so definitely have a check and see if there's anything that takes your fancy and give a go applying. So for the jam topping, I'm gonna to add some water to this. No, yeah, I'm gonna add some water to this because it's only a little bit. And this will just make it thinner so you can spread it around. And all this does is if, it does two things actually. If your fruit isn't too sweet, because right now it isn't summer, so all the fruits aren't gonna really be super, super seasonal and deliciously ripe, then the jam will help it bring out that sweetness, especially if you're using a jam of the fruit. It kind of brings out the flavors, brings out the sweetness. But also it adds a really like lovely sheen to the top of your tarts. So you want it fairly, fairly thin. That's just, my oven is pretty thin. There we go. And if you want to meet us, we do a lot of cookery classes as well. So if you're interested in those, then there's loads of those about. And these these brioche buns, if someone asks where you get them from, you can get these from literally any supermarket. You can get them from Tesco, Sainsbury's, Ocado, Morrison's, anywhere will sell these buns. And these are the best ones to make these custard tarts because they're so rich and fluffy and they add so much flavor, especially so early in the morning. It's not that early now. Um, so here, this is done. And then I'm just gonna cut up my fruit. So I've got raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. These raspberries are really, really pretty. They're just, they're just quite really nice and cute. You don't need anything to those. You can cut those in half if you like. What you could also do if you've got loads of time, you can make like a quick jam. So if you had these blueberries here and you cooked them in some sugar, then you can make a quick jam to kind of spread over the top. Not a jam, a compote more like. And then you can do that. So if you've got a brioche loaf, 
same pair also do brioche loaves. So if you've got that, you can do the exact same thing, cut them into really thick slices, and this will be a lot more similar, similar to the custard toast trend because it's more toast-like, and you won't get that little cute top shape, but it still works. Um, you can get vegan chocolate tart vegan cream. You can get, I have this recipe, I wouldn't say can become totally vegan because the brush buns are not vegan, unfortunately. But there's that, sorry. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is cut these strawberries up. There's loads of different ways you can do it. I'm going to just slice them up thinly and then you can like layer them on your tart. You can decorate them however you want. What's also be really fun is if you made loads of these and then you invited your friends and then you all got to decorate your own tarts. I think that would be really nice. If there's any other questions, I think we've still got like 10 minutes <laughs> for these buns to cook. But yeah, as I said, if you're making these for a dinner party, this will be really cute. Not a dinner party, a breakfast party or a brunch um, because they look really, really sweet. Also, when you're doing your strawberries, you can like figure out how you want to arrange them now. So I just thinly slice them and then I'm going to spread them over the top. Once they're done, yeah, of course. So these brioche buns, you could also use for burgers. I think they work, these in particular work really, really well for burgers because they're a bit sweet. So the sweet and like the salty and the fattiness of the burgers works really, really well together. Um, and yes, you can use any sugar you, sugaring you would like. You can use sweetener, you can use golden syrup, you can use honey. For honey, I would say try and melt it before because if you're getting your yogurt straight from the fridge, sometimes because the yogurt's cold, the honey won't dissolve properly. So maybe pop the honey in the microwave so it's liquid and then you can mix it into your yogurt. Yes, the recipe will be up later, I assume. But if you want a quick recap, then you're gonna push your bun, you're gonna get your thickier buns, cut them in half. Squidge down in the middle with your fingertips. You can use a spoon if you want, but your hands work fine. Um, and then your filling is really easy to remember. One egg, three tablespoons of yogurt, and about one to two tablespoons of your sweetener. Obviously, depending on what sweetener you use, it will change how much you need. So any fruit works best. I even got some like dragon fruit. I found some dragon fruit. Uh, because I thought that would look really pretty as well. So literally any fruit, even bananas, you can make a banana custard tart. Or then you can put like caramel on top and then you could have like a banoffee tart, which would be really, really nice. Um, I think little delicate berries work really, really sweet, depending on what you want. I think whatever seasonal, wherever you can find easily would work the best. I'll cut up in this dragon fruit as well, because I think that would look really pretty on top of the tart as well. Because look at that color, wow. So just cut the ends off and around the edges. Unfortunately, dragon fruit doesn't taste too much, but if you're doing it for aesthetics, then you know, it's gonna look great. <laughs> um, so there, that's, that's just my dragon fruit. Uh, you can use any other fruit. You could even leave them plain, cause that's quite nice as well, just with icing sugar on top. That'd be totally fine. But, I've got an assortment of fruits here today to top. Oops, this game was slippery. My knife also isn't very sharp. Oh, sorry, you can't even see me cutting it. There you go, I made a bit of a mess, but let's ignore that. Um, my knife isn't very sharp, so that's why they're not cutting very well. Let me put these on the side so you can't see them. <laughs> so you can't see my rubbish. There you go. Cinnamon, oh my God, cinnamon would be really, really cute. Um, cute, so it would be cute as well, but it would also be really delicious. Any other flavorings you've got, um, like almond. Oh my God, if you've got like almond extract, um, you could get almond in the custard and then put cherries on top and then it'll taste, um, what was the name? 
what's the name of that cherry and almond top? Like a Bakewell top, it'll taste like a Bakewell top because you've got like the cherry and almond flavor. There's so many combinations you can do. Any dessert that you have, you can do it. If you've got, if you want to do chocolate, I've tried it so you put a layer of chocolate underneath the custard. So if you grate chocolate and put the underneath and then you top it, if you grate chocolate and put that on the bottom of the bun and then you cover it with custard, then you'll have like layers of like chocolate and custard and then you can put more chocolate on top if you want a chocolatey one. You can even mix cocoa powder in with this so that you can make like a chocolatey version. I haven't tried that out. I would maybe do one and see how it goes because it might affect how the custard sets, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Otherwise you could put it on top. Black Forest, if you do a chocolatey one and then you put cherries on top, Sometimes what I find actually would work better than actual fresh cherries is cherry jam because a lot of the times cherries, I find cherries are quite temperamental. Also, look how beautiful this looks. Isn't that ridiculous that this is like a real fruit? So this on your top could look really nice. Um, you can put blueberries on top, whatever, whatever you want. Um, it would just make a really cute breakfast thing. This would be also fantastic for Valentine's Day if you want to surprise anyone it doesn't have to be your partner it doesn't have to be it could be your mum you give your mum some custard tarts I'm sure she'll really appreciate that give them to your best friend give them give them to your manager at work maybe that could be nice um you know get that promotion in from <laughs> from that you could you could give them to anyone so whoever you love whoever you like you make these custard tarts and give them to them because I'm sure they'll like it I'm also starving um, this says there's still five minutes left. Let me check. Oh my god, I think these might be done. So, as you can see, sometimes all ovens run a bit differently. These are a bit dimpled at the top, which is fine. It doesn't matter. We're going to cover them with fruit anyway. But these are done a lot faster. Obviously, sometimes ovens can run a bit faster or not. So if you see them starting to dimple like this, then they're probably going to be done. It almost looks like that Portuguese tart. Um, I, I can't pronounce that either, but that Portuguese tart, it could look like that as well. And you can see that the outside of it is really, really nice and crispy. Let me get my favorite one. This one's my favorite one. So here it is. Oh, I can do what the makeup people do like that. Um, and you can see it's set. It's not like I can I can do that and it'll be fine. And yeah, I what Anna said there, the Portuguese tart. Um, you can also sprinkle some icing sugar or just granulated sugar. But we are obviously making some custard fruit tarts. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, let me get a bowl for my fruits. I can't believe how beautiful these look. Do you know what I mean? It's a shame that they don't really like taste of much, but I think they just look so pretty. Let me pull this here. And then we can build our tots and decorate them and then we're done. That's literally how easy it is. How much of your time did I waste? None of it. Pretty much none of it because they're so good. Okay, so let me get three of my tots here. There we go. And I'm gonna put, so this one, I'm gonna do raspberries. Um, it would be best to let them cool for like five minutes. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna do it now because we don't wanna sit here and wait five minutes for me to watch these cool down. So I'm gonna put raspberries, oh no, let me, you can, you can get quite great of it. Whatever you, whatever you think is best. This camera's just being, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, sorry, something happened to my camera. <laughs> my phone, there we go. <laughs> there. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Oh, I don't even know. Can you see? I'm gonna do this. Okay, so here I've got my raspberries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do outside, no, I'm gonna do inside of with a raspberry and then I'm gonna do outside with blueberries. How do you want me to decorate this one? Someone let me know and I'll decorate it however you tell me to. Now this is the fun bit. You can get the kids involved if you have kids. Get your pets involved. Uh, oh, 
Oh, that looks really sweet. Doesn't that look really sweet? Um, dragon fruit, okay. I don't know how to do the dragon fruit because they're just big circles. Um, maybe like triangles, because I can't just put that on top, you know, that won't look nice. Mm, oh, that sounds really good. Strawberry custard amaretto. That sounds amazing. Adding a dash of amaretto in it. But I don't know if you want to be having amaretto in the morning. Maybe as dessert. This would also work really well as dessert. So there we go. Um, maybe I can... I need another chopping board. Let me... Okay. I've got a chopping board here. I'm going to cut these like this. And then we can stick them up. I don't know. You can do what you want. These are your tarts. Have fun. Have fun. Decorate them however you want. This is this is how I'm doing them. <laughs> you don't need to do them like this. <laughs> okay. I've got some dragon fruit on this one. I don't really like how this looks. Oh, no, wait. I actually love how this looks. I changed my mind. I love it. Like that. Um, oh, that looks so cute, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I can't, I, they're too slippery. They're like, I'm trying to, but they're really, really slippery, so I can't fan it. Um, and I also didn't cut them very thinly, so it wouldn't have worked properly. Um, so there's that one. And then the strawberry one, last one. The strawberry one, I'll fan it out like this you can make like a little flower from the strawberry one can you see it properly should i put this closer oh that's just me there you go look like this and you can spread them out oh they look really sweet and then the last step what we're going to do is just brush them with your jam. Oops. So here's my jam. Oh, here's my jam. And then just brush it over with the jam. And you can see it's like, it just looks like really nice and shiny and glossy. And look, if you were to see these, you would think, wow, oh my God, you spent six hours making custard tarts. Um, imagine going to someone's like doorstep and giving them these. If you're going, if you're going on a date on Valentine's Day, then take these. That would be that's a fantastic idea. I think that's great. Ah, oh, blueberries in the middle of the dragon fruit. That's a cute idea. I'll do that. Um. Also, if you wanted to put like apples or pears. You could like stew them like apple pie. Custard and apple pie, that's a classic combo. You could get, you could make like apple pie custard tarts. That would be great. There's just so many things you could do. It's just all so fun and exciting. These ones are really quite shiny, so they don't need as much shine. There we go. I'm gonna put them there so you can see them all. This last one. Oh no, I can put this one here. There. <laughs> there we go. And this just helps add like a bit of sweetness to it as well. There we go. That's it. They're done. That's that's literally it. If you've got icing sugar, you can brush that over the top. You can like sprinkle that over the top as well. Um, maybe I'll do that. Shall I do, shall I, doesn't matter. I can do that. It'll look nice. So once, um, my brother was cooking and he thought it was corn flour, but it was actually icing sugar. So we were making like these rosties and he put 10 tablespoons of icing sugar in these rosties. This was for Christmas day, by the way. So guess, guess who ruined Christmas? Um, so 
make sure if you've got icing sugar and corn flour you actually label them i still haven't labeled this even from that mistake so be better than me this is my only advice so much stuff. oh my god Okay, last step. There we go. Ta-da! We're done. Oh yeah, tiny scoops to make them would be really nice, but um, I don't have the dexterity. Is that the right word? I don't know but there we go there we go Saint, Bri Saint Pierre brioche custard tarts in about 15 minutes obviously I spent about 10 minutes decorating them because I wanted to but you don't need to so that's it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you make these then make sure you tag us and tag Saint Pierre because they are great that's all have a lovely day oh I'll taste it okay mmm this is. Mm.